another video game playthrough episode of live video gaming. I am Billy James Thayer and today we are going to do a live video, or should I say I'm going to do a live video gameplay of Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen on the PS4. And in this particular playthrough, um, I have heard a lot of people giving me requests on some of my emails and some of my, uh, you know, social medias and stuff like that, that they wanted to see how well of a gamer or gameplay that I do in the catacombs. So, here we go. Um, this will be me playing the catacomb dogma on the ps4 so enjoy and um just to let you guys know um unlike other players i play at the lowest difficulty possible all due to the very fact that i Unlike other players, in case they're, like, maybe tutorial videos or something, um, I basically give beginners an idea of what they're doing, how to go about doing it, and, you know, stuff like that. So, um, I do not play at a high difficulty when I do these, uh, gameplay videos, because I want to show beginners and you know, the, uh, the low-level gamers, basically, uh, uh, what to do, how to do, and stuff like that. So, I'm actually playing on the easiest difficulty, although I may be a little bit high up of a level. I think I'm on, like, 30-something, I guess, but maybe 40-something, I don't know, but, like, 30 or 40, um, but I have it actually on the easiest possible difficulty difficulty so that way anybody who is a beginner gamer can look at this video as a tutorial so here we go let's start shall we and we are entering the catacombs <coughs> oh, i love this place oh and uh by the way i got to go down here i gotta cut my lantern on which seems to be half full right now and I love the beautiful graphics. Oh my god, the graphics are amazing. And I'm gonna go ahead and unsheathe my weapons. And I got a couple of little rats right here. Let's take care of those real quick. Um, let me turn around. I think there was a, tra a treasure chest back there. There's a rat right there, too. I think there was a treasure chest back there that I forgot. Yeah, there was. Okay. Um, I am actually going to loot. Tis a place. Um, invade. Uh, raid and infiltrate this catacomb crypt. So, let's see what I can do, shall I? And um, shall we? <laughs> yeah. Um, there may or may not be any, like, undead or skeletons because, um, they do randomly regenerate every, I think, two to three game days, like, in the game, but, um, either way, they, they do every now and then regenerate, so, the catacombs and crypts and, you know, dungeons like these and stuff actually happen to be a pretty good, and there's a, uh, undead warrior right there, I mean, uh, I guess skeleton or something, undead, anyways, um, so these dungeons and these catacombs and crypts and stuff like this actually happen to be a very good way to level up. So any of you beginning gamers, starting gamers or whatnot that are watching this video, um, just keep in mind that any of these type of dungeons and you know catacombs and crypts and stuff like that, these tombs and stuff, they are actually very good way to level up due to the very fact that, that a lot of the enemies actually regenerate over time. So, ow, that hurt. Oh, oh, snap, I gotta get away from them. Those are exploders, 
and they will damage you. They will, you know, hurt you and injure you. They won't necessarily kill you unless you have, like, low health, but they will hurt when they close. So, yeah. That was a big help. Um, so yeah, I'm, ow. So yeah, I'm actually going through and collecting everything I can. Oh, by the way, you see these uh, barrels right here? Yes, I'm a magic archer. But these barrels, all of these exploding barrels, I actually detonate every one of them. Even out in the open real world, I actually take and I open and I, I, yeah, I open all tombs, all treasures, everything. And not only do I loot everything, but and grab everything, but I try not to overcumber myself on that matter too. But the bottom line is I do pretty much everything and I detonate all explosives. So yeah, and there's another undead right there. Come at me, come on, come on. Come on. I can't get to him. Oh, come on. You know what? Screw this. I'm going to I'm going to take you out. There we go. But yeah. I'm going to light that. There we go. And even though, there's, even though that was a skull, I still like to like, gather it. But ow. Yeah, you souls and spirits, man, they, they will attack you. That's one thing you want to watch out for. They will attack you. And it's not so much of an easy thing. Yeah, these are some amazing catacombs. And what more amazing is how beautiful the grasses are. <laughs> Forgive me if I'm uh, slightly coughing, guys. I actually have a slight cold, so please do forgive me. So, yeah. But I am... That's another thing. These catacombs aren't real deep, per se. I don't know why. But they're not all that deep. So... So, yeah. Ooh. Ooh, I'll take that. <coughs> Forgive me. Ow! Okay, that really hurt, too. Um, okay, I don't know exactly where the hell I'm going here, but, uh, I guess I, I guess I'll go this, that, this way. Yep, I do. I'll go down this way. And we are going down the, down the elevator. <coughs> Into a more underground level, I guess. Okay, so, um, let's see, oh, there's a treasure chest, and, uh, wow, that's a lot of gold pouch, okay, and like I said, I detonate third, and you guys are too close, too close for comfort, do I want to fight you, come on, fighter, come on, little fighty, come on, fighty, hey, all right, well, I wonder what's in this box. Um. Ooh. Okay. I'll take that. I could definitely use that. If not already sell it. But I like to be buying it. Um. Ew. I don't know what that exactly was per se, but ew. It didn't look good. Ah, another under. And he was pretty easy. He or she won. <laughs> um, I don't know if I have to Oh, I do! Oh, snap! Oh, snap! Get off! Hey! Hey! My, my, my bad, guys. Right, get off me! Get off me! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. One's about to blow. One's about to blow. Chain reaction! Ooh! Ooh! Ow. 
Chain reaction is pretty cool. Ooh, ow, that was a big blow. Yow. I don't know what's all back here, but. Oh, that would look pretty cool, I bet. Dun 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 dun. Um, let's see what we got here. Mm, don't look like nothing back here. Don't tell me there's, there's things. Are, oh, come on. Yeah, I got these bad boys. Yeah, they should be pretty easy. I mean, all they are is showers in there. Now, skeletons are a little bit different than the undead itself, but ow! But they are still pretty easy to take out. And one of the things I love so much about the magic archer is they have so many different uh, unique abilities that you can, you know, upgrade to. Where the heck is it? Hurt my pawn? I'll take you out. Okay, somebody's also hitting up on me. I don't know where he's at. Okay, I don't know where the guy is at, but I'm gonna find him. He is hitting up on my. Okay, there's a. Okay, so I, look... I don't know what that is, but I'm gonna take it anyways. It doesn't really look good, but I'm gonna go ahead and snap it anyhow. Ah, oh, there's that little knucklehead. Haha, so it is. If you hurt my pawn, I'll hurt you. You attack my pawn, I'm gonna tackle you. I don't know exactly what that was, but that was okay. Yeah, these catacomb crypts are pretty amazing. They they can be somewhat deep, but not 100% official to per se. So it's all good, I guess. Uh, um, a lot of people were asking me, how do I know these catacombs and these dungeons so well? Well, let me see. Um, oh yeah, I actually uh, played this game not only on the 360. But I also played this game on the PS3, and I also played it on the Xbox One. So, yeah, I have played on pretty much every type of console there is out there. Not to mention I even played it on Steam on the PC. So, yeah, I've actually played this game about four to five different times over. So, yeah, I actually know the game extremely well. So I am very familiar at what to do, where to go, you know, that type of stuff. And if I were to calculate all the damage that I'm doing, I would say it would probably be in the millions, if not billions. Because I am doing an awful lot of damage in the crypt. I cannot believe how much damage I'm doing. And I can't believe how much gold I'm collected. Wow, I got over half a million gold already. That's incredible. Okay, now I gotta find my way out of the crypt here. I gotta find my way back out of here. There's a particular area that I need to... Yeah, I want to kill all these others. Ow! Okay, there is supposed to be an area that I'm supposed to go in here. Okay, I'm gonna find my way back out real quick, and then after that, I'm gonna take and... I'm gonna go to the other entrance on the other side 
of the catacomb, or the other end of the, uh, the catacomb crypt. So, let's, uh, let's get out of here, shall we? Because I do not like the look of this place. It is, oh, you want to come, you want to come out of oh. You want to come back up from, from the dead, huh? <clears throat> so, yeah. Okay, we are getting the mess out of here. It is just too crazy up in here. What the heck was that? Oh. And no big deal. Nothing important. But yeah, it is really, it can get really, really crazy. Really crazy, really creepy. I think that's the way I need to go. Oh wait, did I already come from there? Yeah, I did. <clears throat> Why the heck am I coming from there again? I need to go out this way. What the heck? Okay, sometimes I admit, I can get a little confused and a little lost up in here. Especially when I have played through it numerous of times. So... Yeah, forgive me guys, because I can get a little bit lost and confused. Oh, snap. I do not like those. I do not like those phantoms. That's fire there. Hey, 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 get off me. Get off of me. I'm not in love with you. I'm not obsessed with you. Get off of me. Yeah, it looks like somebody woke from the dead. Hey, that did not feel good. I'm gonna get you off of her. You know what? You don't play my part like that. Bad boy. Hey, 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 get off me. Off of me. Ow! Okay, that really hurt. At uh, first I thought that was my pawn, that's why I did not attack. Now I know the other one. I'm no different now. Ooh, I'm a different. Yellow. Uh, I don't want to take that because I don't need it. Oh, well, you know what, I'm going to take it anyways. What the heck. Um. Ow! Uh, like I said, there are sp uh, phantom spirits in here that will attack you. And I don't like that at all. But, since I am somewhat so-called disrespecting the dead by opening all of these catacombs and tombs and, you know, all these vaults and stuff, yeah, I'm actually disrespecting the dead the dead here. I'm actually waiting the dead and disrespecting them. Which you really do not want to do in real life, in reality. Because there are some extreme major consequences. And I'm not just saying that there's any type of given consequences. <clears throat> I'm just saying that there's tons of major consequences that you not want to go through. Okay, I am confident that I am to go this way. <clears throat> I'm quite sure. Wait a second, I just came from this way, or did I? Not exactly. Ooh. What the heck is that? Oh, okay, she was standing on that. <coughs> He was just standing on the, uh... Ow! That did not feel good. Uh, I didn't really want a rotten apple, but, uh... Okay, I've got to take that. And I don't know what else... Oh, I'm going to definitely take that. That's gold. That's gold. i got to take the gold. <laughs> More gold. Holy cow. Okay. 
That's a lot of gold. But when you considering the fact that <clears throat> and I don't know what are all up in these uh, look like a, a dumb skull. <laughs> Ow! Another one of spirit phantoms. A dying lantern. Ah, I got him away. Okay, okay, we we got to get out of here. Literally. Okay, I gotta find my way out of here. I think I I think I know a way I can go. I think I can go this way. Jump down. I am not fighting anymore. I am. This is crazy up in here. Seriously. I don't think I've ever spent this long in a catacomb. What the heck is that? I don't need that. I don't think I've ever spent this long in these catacombs. Because honestly, the catacombs, crypts, dead, they all creep me out. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. They all creep me out. So I'm going to be taking and getting up out of here and then I'm gonna close this out. So I'm sorry to say guys, but I have got to, to close this out. So we have got to find a way out of here like right now immediately. And I believe I am finding me a way out as of right now. Um, and there we go. Oh, snap. And we are officially out of here. Yeah, we gotta get out of here. And there we go. We are officially out of the catacomb. Well, that is particularly a playthrough of my catacombed gameplay for Dragon Dogma Dark Arisen on the PS4. Thanks for watching. Oh, and be sure to subscribe to that uh, to this channel. Hit that subscribe button down there. Hit the like button. Comment. Share. Um. Yeah. So. Uh, be sure to uh, support me and I'll support you. Subscribe and I will subscribe to you if you can leave your YouTube uh, channel in the comments below. And uh, I will be sure to subscribe to you if you sub if you hit that subscribe button and subscribe to me. Um, also, later on, I will be doing some giveaways. So be sure to uh, check in with those. However, you can only enter if you are subscribed and have the notification button turned on. So if you want to enter into my giveaways, um, be sure to hit that subscribe button and leave your uh, URL link in the description below and uh, I will enter you into a giveaway whenever I broadcast a giveaway. However, um, like I said, you must be subscribed in order to enter. So, do yourself a favor and smash that subscribe button, smash that like button, and once again, thanks for watching.